PSP or progressive supranuclear palsy is a neurodegenerative disorder. And by that, we mean a brain disease where nerve cells are damaged or have died for reasons often that we don't understand. We now divide neurodegenerative diseases under the presence of proteins that accumulate or aggregate in the brain. And we believe that somehow this abnormal protein aggregation is uh, involved in the degenerative process, the loss of cells. PSP is what we consider a prominent movement disorder, but it's very complex because as in the case of many of these neurodegenerative diseases, patients may present with movement abnormalities, but they may also have and often do uh, cognitive or thinking and behavioral abnormalities. So when these patients were first described in the uh, early 1960s, um, they were thought to have predominantly a movement disorder where they had abnormalities of their eye movements, especially the ability to look up and down. And that's the term supranuclear palsy, a palsy of eye movements. But they also had early walking problems and falls and a stiffness of gait and uh, difficulties with uh, self-care due to loss of movement. However, over many years now, we recognize these, this is a far more complicated disorder and patients may present with the way they first were described by uh, um, my predecessor in Toronto, uh, Dr. J.C. Richardson, and that's the steele richardson olszewski syndrome. So patients may present with the eye movement problems and with falls and other movement problems, but there is a very broad spectrum of the way these patients can present from difficulties with language and difficulties finding words to behavioral difficulties, to difficulties uh, looking like Parkinson's disease. These patients can present with all of the features of Parkinson's and even a response to levodopa. And so many of these patients are mistaken for Parkinson's disease. So this complex array of presentations is probably the strongest reason that these patients need to be seen by and cared for uh, specialists in the field of movement disorders, recognizing the complexity, recognizing the challenge to diagnosis and management, and also very much recognizing the need for advances in research because we need, sorely need advances because of the disability that this condition causes and unfortunately, the fact that this condition progresses inexorably, patients typically suffer a great deal from their disability and generally die within a, a span of about 10 or uh, fewer years because of the progressive neurodegeneration. So we need a lot of advances in our understanding and research as well.